morning, everyone. I'm Colby. I'm John. And we're coming to you live from the VTech 80 Newsroom. Hello? Okay, thanks. Um, that's pretty scary, but yeah. Um, I just received a phone call and a meteor just hit Russia. That's pretty scary. Um, we have somebody on the live scene. Um, we're going to go ahead and head over to him. Thanks, guys. Now, here in Russia, we just received striking news and images of a meteorite that landed somewhere around this area. The government are closing off the roads and blocking a perimeter around the meteorite where civilians may not enter or go near. We have heard news that the impact of the meteorite sent massive shock waves that blew open doors, shattered windows, and threw people across their homes. The local law enforcement is still looking for any harmed or unharmed survivors from around the landing area. We hope to see a good outcome. Now back to you. Thank you, Josh. Now, let's take a look at our weather. Over to you, Wesley. Thank you, Colby. This is Wesley here with the weather. I was just going to tell citizens of Earth what the weather is going to be like this week in Draper and other parts of the moon. As you can see, this week's mostly cloudy with a slight chance of sunniness. Uh, except for here on Tuesday, the Earth is going to be devoured by a black hole. That's less important. And here on Wednesday, it's going to be sunny during the night time, but that's also not important. Anyways, that's our weather for today. Back to you. Thank you, Wesley. Now let's go over to traffic with Riley. Thanks, Sean. This is Riley with the traffic, and uh, as you can see, there's an accident. Look, uh, actually, don't look. It's really bad. It's really bad. Don't, don't look. It's, it's, it's pretty bad, actually. Uh, yeah, it, it's, it's really bad. People are flooding the scene because it's so bad. But other than that, everything's good except for the traffic is kind of heavy, as you can see. There's a U-Haul and uh, a red Coca-Cola truck. That's my favorite type of pop. Um. Look at the hippie van. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sean Kelsey, and I'll be interviewing Gentry Lewis today. We have a couple questions for you, Gentry. Um, first question, how long have you been playing? I've been playing for about three years. And what's your favorite kind of music? My favorite kind of music is probably either indie rock or alternative rock. And how hard was it for you when you first started playing? It was pretty hard when I first started. I didn't want to play at first. It was something I really didn't want to pick up, but my grandpa, he encouraged me to learn how to play, and he thought I'd really like it once I picked it up, so I've been playing ever since. So do you ever think you might go like famous or something? Yeah, I think that'd be nice. I mean, I'll have to practice a lot and get really good, but I've done some songwriting and singing, so I think that I'll do all right with that. So you enjoy it then, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. All right, one more question for you, Gentry. Could you play us a song? Sure. Let's go. Run and tell all of the angels This could take all night Thinking in time to help me get things right Hook me up a new revolution Cause this one is a lie Sat around laughing and watching the last one die Now I'm looking to the sky to save me Looking for a sign of life Looking for something to help me burn out bright Looking for a complication Looking cause I'm tired of